Oh shit. Okay. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making... Um, well I'm just going to be teaching you how to use Prototype Titler. Um, because a lot of people find it like really confusing. There are other tutorials, for example, from Surfate. Um, I think Moxel has one as well. So there are other tutorials and I'll link them in the description. So you're not only just watching from me, you can watch the other ones as well. So it doesn't matter what version you're on, it's on anything. So I'm just going to name this typography or something. Right, so it is in Media Generator, Prototype Titler. However, if it's not there, which usually it isn't, um, you have to go to Options up here and go Preferences deprecated features and then enable prototype titler here press apply and then restart your vegas and then if you go to media generator it will be here it should have like the default settings um i somehow deleted them on accident i don't know how i did that so i just have a blank one which was um my fault so um you drag it above your clip or if you're just practicing on your track um first just make it the size you need it to be I'm just gonna do it for like because this is too long look no text animation is lasting this long so um, I'll make it like two seconds yeah I'll make, I'll make it two seconds just for it to be like seen and watchable um, so you click on the blue square icon down here and it gives you this this is the interface it's similar to Vegas interface, like you see the preview here, timeline, this is the timeline. However, when you move this around, this timeline here, it's not synced to this one. These are completely separate timelines. So I'm just going to make this bigger um, real quick. And the, fir the very first thing you want to do after opening it is going up to the top right and clicking match event length. I'm not going to click it yet because just just to explain why you need it. So this track here, you can see it's lasting for like 10 seconds. You don't want it to last 10 seconds because you only made this like two seconds. I made it two seconds. So I want the length of this timeline to be two seconds. So if we match the event length, it's now matched up to the length I made it here. Because you want it the same length, otherwise if you don't, then, well, the animation is going to last way longer than two seconds, which I don't want. I want it to last two seconds. So I've put it like that, and I'm just going to drag it full screen. Um, and you can save animation presets, so you don't need to, like, um, just recreate it every time. If you have a specific animation you like, you can save it. I'll show you how to do that later. Um, so first, I obviously need a, f I need a like a text. You should have the default centered presets, but um, as I said, I deleted them. So I'm just gonna d double click, and it creates text. It's off center, but we can sort that out in a second. So I'll just put tutorial like this. Um, and now we're gonna. Highlight all of it. So we're just going to click and highlight all of it. So hold and drag. That makes it like horizontal. Put it in the center. I want the alignment to be in the center. Where, where can I change the thing? Style, open type. Oh, wait. Text edit mode. Click here or press escape to exit. So I'm just going to click up there. Here we go. Um, center. I want it in the center. Center. There we go. That doesn't look like it's in the center. Hold on, put it. Oh, you could just put this to zero. And put this to zero. And there we go. Now it's in the middle. So offset, this controls obviously where it's where it's going. So put that to zero. It's a lot easier if you just type the values. Um scale. That, that makes it obvious, it controls the scale. I'm going to put that to 1. It's 1 at default, so when it's at 0, it's completely disappeared. And then shear, that, that, that's kind of obvious. And then rotation. Well, obviously, you, you don't want to 
animate the entire thing you just want to animate one one letter so you're going to go up here there's arrows so that you click on the downward arrow and what that does that moves to the first letter and then if you wanted to move to the next one next one next one you know with the left and right arrow keys it does also tell you you can do shift left and shift up which i'm assuming is like yeah holding shift like this you can do that i just like to press it up here this you can edit the text and this you can add new text uh i don't actually know what that does um but we're just gonna do like a simple zoom in first so you want to edit the scale because that's what you use to zoom in so you can see it creates the timeline and keyframes this is the, the keyframes at the beginning here so at the very start on these keyframes i just want to change it to zero because as i said that's where it's just nothing you see it's just disappeared and now we're going to go all the way to the end so again this isn't lined up with the timeline here so you do just kind of have to eyeball it but now that we've matched the event length we don't really have to worry about that so we're gonna drag it all the way to the end and you can just double click for it to go to default setting like this and now it's automatically going bigger but you can see it's like really slow so the easiest way to fix that is you can see the little like you can see the the frames here the little gray notches but then there's these bigger gray dark, darker gray ones you want to go I'll, I'll just name like a notch so that's one notch here two three and you usually go like three notches here which is like every what four frames the fifth frame so i'm just gonna go around here and make the value 0.7 to kind of make an own graph because you can't do the graphs on this which is kind of annoying but this kind of replicates a fast graph or a smooth graph and what that does it just makes it animate a lot quicker and boom it's now coming in a lot quicker and yeah you can also right click and change it to fast fade or slow fade manual is a graph but the the values are so small you can barely even see what's going on you can like if you go at the end you, it lights up and you can drag it like this so if you really wanted to graph it you could i just think you can barely see anything so that that's just going to be really hard in my opinion so putting it a smooth fade is probably like a better idea but um, i'm gonna put this back to normal size now um so now you want to make this animation go to every single text right there's these um logos here and you just want to click the first one called toggle cascade and you can see now it's already done it it's connected to everything like this it's slowly doing everything outwards and you can kind of see it ends fairly early so you don't want to click any of these at least i don't it doesn't really do anything for me i'm not going to click any of those but what i want to do is the duration i want to set it longer because the longer duration the longer the animation lasts if you don't want the animation to end really early so you can see here the longer i make it the animation is lasting longer so i'm just gonna lengthen it a bit more i'm gonna go all the way to the end just to see where it is because i think it just looks smoother when the animation is not completely finished so yeah i'm gonna show you how to do more stuff in a minute i'm just gonna show you this basic animation first so i'm gonna pre-render it uh make this a bit bigger so yeah that that is how you would do a, just a basic animation for starters you can if you want you can see like the first letter isn't completely done zooming in if you want it to completely zoom in 
um, faster than everything else. You can make the end, like you can make, make it end quicker, the first animation. So you just bring this back a bit more and then make it end like here or something. And now if we just double check it, it's going to end a lot quicker. Obviously this will look a lot smoother if you add RSMB or something to it, but that's completely up to you. Um, so now I'm just probably going to show you like some other things, like if you add rotation to it. So I'm s I'm on the first letter right now, automatically. So I'm just going to set the rotation to curve. Um, I was going to do something, but I'll show you what that does afterwards. So I'm just going to click on the little animation button here. Go where I ended the animation just now, which is over here. Uh, put it to zero. Then again, go to the like third notch here, the darker grey. And then I'm just going to put it to 12, I guess. Maybe lower, I might change it, but probably somewhere around there. Put it to smooth fade. And now I'm just going to show you how that looks with the rotation. So you can kind of see the rotation isn't changing very quickly and that's most likely because we need to just do the beginning keyframes as a fast fade. If you want it to start off fast that that's what you can do so if I put it as fast fade see that started off a lot quicker so it's really just kind of all about keyframing. It's kind of annoying that you can't graph this. I'm sure Vegas will have a update about that soon. Or not, I guess. It's... <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, what I was going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the text with the mouse wheel. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. Yes, you can zoom in on the text for more accuracy. But you can see there's this like orange anchor point. I'm going to put that at the corner of the text like this like the corner of this big blue square, a rectangle, I can't do maths, there we go. And now that's changed it drastically. So this is kind of like um, Gojo's animation, like this. I personally think it looks quite nice. Okay, now I'm just going to show you how to like fade it in. Um, I might change the second keyframes fades because smooth just looks a bit weird to me could do fast fade or linear i'll try linear first just want to make it look better yeah that looks fine okay so i'm going to show you how to fade it in so we're gonna Click on the upward arrow to navigate to the entire text. I'm just going to zoom out. That's way too close. I'm going to go to layout. There is selection. So you can choose between word or character, like the characters. Because single letters are called characters. So that's what that means. Um, and if you go to the end here, this drags from the right to the left. So you can see like this. Or if you drag from this direction, it goes from the left to the right like this but you don't really want it like that so I'm gonna do it from the right to the left so the first frame is gonna be zero so you can see right is all the way at the bottom here you can barely see it uh, what if I do this so yeah you still can't see it so I'm gonna go all the way to the end and then go up here and just drag if I can you have to be really precise with this it's kind of annoying there we go just drag it all the way to the end. Um, so you, you can see the uh, it looks very linear right now. So I may just add the manual. See manual looks and it makes this little curve. So you can curve it a bit. There we go, that's fine. So if we preview this can see it's fading in the words there we go and what I'm just gonna do is 
change the font to something a bit more enjoyable. And then the style you can do like outline colors. Obviously it looks a bit weird. So fill color is obviously the main color. Stroke color is the outline color. So if you wanted an outline, you'd put all the colors to white and then put the fill color alpha to a transparent and then they go stroke width you have outline so this, this is if you wanted an outline yeah I might delete the thing where I ended it early I prefer it kind of like this Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to change it back to normal because I don't want it outlined. I just wanted to show you how to do that. Open type, nope, style. Put that back to normal. And then... I'm gonna go onto the entire text like this, go to tracking. Now tracking controls if it goes outwards like this. I don't usually use this but I know some people use this for their videos so that's that's there um, if anyone needs it. And yeah, the, I hope this was at least clear on how to make your text animations. Um, Obviously, you can make a bunch of other ones you see online. All you have to do is just learn prototype title at first. Trust me, learning it is so much more helpful. And then just add whatever you want. Glow. Anything, really. And um, that's just some basic text animation. It looks a lot smoother with RSMB and obviously some transitions. Oh, another way to make it look smoother is also adding some animation effect, like BCC Wave. So if you just added it on the text. This is like my one of my default presets, but you can see it's already like curving it. I want it to be like 700. There we go. I'm just going to take off Ignite Super Glow because it makes it lag on the preview and I just want to show you. Okay, well, not the best example, I guess. But yeah, th this is um, how I do my text. And I hope it's helpful for anyone who wants to use it. So, uh... Oh! Wait, I forgot one thing. <laughs> Okay, so if the animation seems a bit weird to you, you can go to cascade settings here and there's a delay curve. You can see the delay is very um, like a smooth, but if you want it to be faster, you can right click it and click fast. So the animation starts a lot faster. So if we do this, you can see it's, well, it started a lot faster. You can see the animation not ending, that's just because I put the duration very low. I mean high. But yeah, that's if you want your animation to be fast, so uh, this is all up to you. And um, one more thing. Um, to save an animation, you just go save to collection. Name it whatever you want, press enter and it saves down here. So um... You don't have to keep like doing it. Um, so if I go, if I save this, so tut, right, and then delete it. I just go to this icon here called collections, scroll down and then custom. So if I go to uh, tutorial, it automatically pops up. Obviously it's named tutorial. All you have to do is double click highlight don't just press backspace highlight okay then change the name right and then it automatically changes that's all you have to do i hope this is helpful goodbye